I'm watching Teen Wolf for the first time, okay? And I'm giving you my thoughts in real time. I don't know why I've never watched it before because Teenage Angst plus Supernatural Dogs, that's my cup of tea, okay? That screams me. If you like that dark, gloomy, like Twilight setting, but worse, you're gonna like this show. Here's one thing that I can never get over. Every single time you watch some sort of show where somebody becomes a werewolf or a vampire for the first time, and it always happens that they meet another werewolf or a vampire during their transition. Why is it that the newborns are always just like, fuck you vampires and werewolves that have been doing it for years. I'm not going to listen to anything you say and then fuck everything up and then wonder why they fucked everything up when there was a werewolf and a vampire that was there willing to teach you everything about being a supernatural creature. God, that would solve so much of your problems. And then you have questions like, why is that female a real life werewolf and not like some half breed version like I am? Why can't I control my impulses? Why does Wolfbane like really affect me that much? You know who has the answer to those questions? The other werewolf that you have met that you somehow put in jail, which benefits you none. Also, let's say you are a werewolf hunter and you went to a lacrosse game where you saw a teenage kid Throw a lacrosse ball that literally burned through a net. What kind of a werewolf hunter would you be if you didn't be like, that's strange. That's odd. That kid must be a werewolf. So you mean to tell me that you find out that you're a werewolf and there's a whole group of hunters that are trying to kill you. And then you have the audacity to be like, I trust them more than I trust you because they're nice. What does the term werewolf hunter mean to you? Then he kind of wises up and then decides that he's going to go to the only werewolf that he knows to like learn to control his powers. Finally, after I don't know how many episodes is this, like six episodes or something. And then his friend Styles is like, well, you're an idiot for trusting him. Or is there like an abundance of like werewolves around? Who else are we going to trust? The hunters? Excuse you, Styles, but just until a few hours ago, you didn't even know a werewolf existed. Also, did you know that werewolves are born? Like it can be genetic? I bet you didn't. For being a werewolf his entire life, Derek is like totally useless. Like everything he promised us in the first few episodes about teaching Scott to like control his power and not turn. He's done none of that. And I'm guessing the alpha is his dad or his brother. But then I guess it wouldn't make sense why he killed the sister. Unless there was another wolf that killed the sister. And the alpha is trying to get revenge for that. And how does the whole town hear a gnarly wolf growl? And people are just going to pretend like nothing happened. Nobody's running out of their house wondering. Anyway, I'm on episode 7. Do I love it? Hell yeah.